Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Uh, let's crack into another one. All right. TNT. Yo. So we all know Florida has its issues. It does. Lots of issues, man. So, um, it's a lot of and there's issues. lots of gun stuff, very much stand your ground. Like the whole, uh, what wow. was the, the, um, the guy who killed the kid in self defense? Oh, ago. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Um, uh, you know, and uh, Martin, Martin Zimmerman? Robert George Zimmerman? Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, there's always been issues of stand your ground guns and whatever. So, sure. the other day, there was, I saw a, a video online. It was like a, it was like a, uh, press, some pr- press, uh, Release? What, whatever, where they're standing talking to reporters. I can't. Press the report. For sure. Yeah, sure. So, the, I guess what happened is like somebody broke into somebody's home and the owner shot them. That's and, usually what and happens. And I think, I think the criminal got away or something. So, what the guy was talking about, it was like a sheriff's deputy. He's standing up there and he goes, he goes, you know, we had a, a incident with someone broke into a house and they were shot and and uh, we're looking for the person who who shot them, but we want to say you're not in trouble. We want you to come forward. He goes in the state of Florida, it's legal to shoot someone who has entered your home unlawfully. And then he goes, and honestly, we wish that you would do that. <laughs> like literally at the press conference, said, "Yeah, we would. We wish that, that you would yeah. shoot them." Yeah. So it's like the cops are like, "No, no." Please shoot people that come in your house. Yeah. I was just like, that's insane. For the cops to literally tell people to like do it. For one thing, you're protecting your family. Let's just let's just lay out the facts here. For one thing, you're protecting your family. Uh number two, uh, you prevent criminals from wanting to do it because if they know that you're packing in your house and that you're going to shoot and that the cops are like, please do it. Okay, cops just gave me a freebie. That's a freebie. It, That's mean, a free one. Like in Texas, they have the same law. We should hang. Yeah. We should hang a, a sign on the door that just says, "We have guns. Don't come in." Is that stand your ground or is that castle? Because there's the castle, and then then there's stand your ground. Well, stand your ground, ground is like anywhere. if somebody's yeah, if anybody's messing with you or you feel threatened or whatever. Right, right. The castle, I think, is the in your own domic- domicile yeah. or whatever. Either way, and I know. I'm pretty sure in Texas, if someone comes in your house. Un, unrequested, you can shoot them and you're fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't even think you have to give them a, a chance to get out. I'm I pretty think. sure that Castle Doctrine is uh, is all over the place. Now, I'm not sure about every state, but I'm pretty sure that's a federal thing. But I yeah, don't know. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I 100% agree, man. You should Look, there's no reason that you should not be able to protect yourself in your own home in this country where we're as obsessed with guns as we are. All right? If there's one thing that a gun should be used for, protecting your home is what it should be used for. I mean, that for. is like the thing. Yeah. Everything else that people use guns for, questionable. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, hunting, I guess. Okay. About okay. Hunting. Yeah. Hunting's kind of questionable, right? Because what you, you can just go to the grocery store. Yeah, I get it, I guess. Uh, shooting range. I guess. Target practice is the only more innocent thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it. But here's the thing, man. It would be wild as hell to have somebody break in your house and have to shoot them. Yes, I would agree with that. I don't know if I would necessarily have an enemy to take another life. I've never had to before. Surprise, surprise, guys. I know I've never killed anybody. But I feel like if it were me or you, it's going to be me. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm, right. If somebody's got to like, die, it's never going to be me. It's always going to be you that has to die. I'm going to live. Yeah, I mean, and that, I mean, I guess that's just the survival of of the thing, you know. It's like I say, if it was me or you, it's gonna be me. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was that. that I just realized that. Yeah, I, don't I knew what know. you meant. Okay. I, I knew the nomenclature you were putting <laughs> yeah, down right. just in the wrong yeah. sense. All right. I, yeah. I know the idiom. All right. Either, yeah. So, yeah. If it's if it comes between dying or killing, Jonas, man, I can live with it. You know what I'm saying? I can live with that weight. <laughs> But I can't yeah. die with that weight of yeah, knowing that I went out no, like a man, B word. It's, it's uh it's it's interesting. I don't know, man. I don't I'm not a gun guy. Like I mean I've shot guns a handful of times. I don't yeah. not like I've guns. shot guns with you uh a yeah, couple times, yeah. right? I, uh, couple times, right? Uh, but I'll tell you, I like I think I told you, like I went and played paintball last weekend or two yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, by this time two weeks ago, whatever. Yeah. And like <clears throat> and it was fun, I had a good time or whatever. But like it just made me think about how much of a wuss I would be in actual war. Because, like, I, every time I got hit with a paintball, I was like, yeah. if this was war, I would be dead. 
<laughs> or like if I got hit in the hand, like I got hit right in the hand with a paintball. Like yeah. there would have been a goddamn hole in my hand yeah. from that. Or I yeah. got hit in the tip. I got hit in the tip of the finger. Yeah. Finger gone. Just straight. It just made me realize like the stray bullet effect of war. Oh, of just yeah. like I'm just like in a window shooting paintballs and all of a sudden whoo, right by my ear or like bow right in the side of the head or like whatever. And I'm like, I'd be dead. My finger would be gone. Honestly, it got shot in the guts. Yeah. Like. That's why wars take so long, Jones, because they are fought at a snail's pace unless they're using, like, obviously, like, heavy munitions or, like, vehicles Bombs or whatever. or, like, whatever, yeah. Yeah, but for the infantry part, man, it, like, these people will sit in, like, a, a, a burnt-out house for days. Yeah, because they know if they move, they die. Exactly. Like, right now There's we're no protected. Yeah. We, we're, we're, we're trapped. Hopefully they give up or come to us and we can... Or they make a bad move and we get an advantage on them. Yeah, like but, it's it's insane. But a lot of times the pe the person that makes the first move is the person that takes the first L, you know? Right. Dude, Whereas it, the person that takes the first it, shot. Yeah. I mean, I've always known that I wasn't a war guy. You know, I've never yeah. been never like big, like I'm going to go join the military or anything. Yeah, I tried. But, dude. Thank God I was unfit for duty, man. Yeah? Yeah, I might be dead right now. You never man. know. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah, I was looking to go. I was looking to go into the Army Reserves out of out of high school. Okay. Um, I was four F because I had asthma. And, oh, okay. But I wasn't having like anything like flare ups at that point in time. But then I had one where I ended up in the hospital for a week. It was actually funny. I was at Z's house uh -huh. and I left his house and I I woke up at the hospital. And they were gonna intubate me. Oh Jesus! Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was like one of those those serious. You know, you you've seen you've seen the serious ones before. Yeah, yeah. You know, you uh, you didn't. You don't know how you got home. Uh, no. Z, Z had taken me home, but I once I went upstairs, I was just I felt so sick, and then I woke up and I was at the hospital. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that was probably the worst ones. Most of the like I've had some of those serious ones before. Regardless. Um, I told the recruiter, I was like, look, man, I'm not going to lie to you. I just got out of the hospital. And he was like, I can't even let you take the test, man. <laughs> he was like, I, I could have let you in, but I can't let you take the test. And I swear to you, Jonas, two weeks later, 9-11. So, oh, uh, damn. Yeah. So I, I feel like I literally dodged the bullet. Wow. <laughs> literally, you know? Yeah, man. It was, uh, it's a wild thing. Yeah. Like guns are insane. Like I couldn't even imagine pointing a gun at a person. No, I could not either. But on the same note, I've never really had to fend for my life to that. Extent. Yeah, granted, it was really fun in paintball because it was just like you see them and you like, mm -hmm. and you're just like, oh, they're behind the thing. I'm just gonna like keep them trapped. Yeah. Like, and you know, they're all pinned down and they're trying to get out, and you. They know you got them. Like, you're just watching them, so they don't have much. Did, did you get any kills? You yeah, get any oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, especially when I was up in, like, the higher ground. Like, okay. I, I, like, we ran to a house. I got to the second floor, and I got into the window, and there were people running. And I was just like, bop, 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 bop. Like, I caught them, like, coming around the corner and stuff. Look and then me and a dude were having a firefight mm -hmm. on... He was in the second floor of one house, and I was in the second floor of another. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was like, you, you poke out, shoot, 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 and he's shooting, too, and they're going all over. What's really funny... Is I I moved out of the way and he shot one. It came through the window and hit a dude that was up there with me in the neck. That was like ten uh, foot away, just shooting out another window. Yeah. So that's how like how random it is. Like you're with your homie yeah. in a bunker. He's shooting one way. You're shooting another. Yeah. You dodge a bullet. It hits him in the neck. Yeah. Like it was yeah. just like is. I was like holy shit. But it was super cool to just like I could see him moving around in the house. I'd run down to another window to try to get a, a bottom angle on, and then I'd come back. It was really fun. But yeah. like if it was real guns, I would have peed. <laughs> no, I would have been in the corner just like, oh my god, don't come on. You would have been a Call of Duty head ass. You played enough Destiny and you know what to do. Yeah, I mean, and that's what <laughs> it's basically like you're playing Call of Duty in real life. And I so I see why people play paintball. Yeah. Now I still have welts and bruises on my body that are gonna be there for probably two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just while they heal, but like it really doesn't hurt that bad. If you got lit the F up, it would hurt. But like getting one or two here or there, like the bruises don't hurt. At the initial hit, you're like, ow, that hurt. And then even the girls that were with us were super scared. And after they got hit, they're like, oh, that's, yeah, it sucks. But yeah, it's it not, sucks, but it's yeah. not, and no one's like lighting anybody up. Like yeah. you get hit, you go, I'm out. And then they stop shooting you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, um, I don't know, man. It was cool, but yeah. guns I love it, man. Air scares the, it's, it's scary, dude. We, we should maybe, uh, we should maybe look into some airsoft, man. That they do that there too. Airsoft yeah. is a lot more because that's the BBs or, or the pellets, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about all that. They, I mean, they're small. 
Yeah, but the paintball actually where we went was fine. It's like if you have a group of like 10 or more, it's only like $43 a person. Mm. And they have like 10 courses and you get like the gun, unlimited CO2, you get a you get a mask, and then you get uh, 500 paintballs. And we ended up – we have the, a whole big group of us, and we ended up buying one more box of 2,000 paintballs but for everybody to yeah, use. Yeah. So it was like – it was almost enough paintballs for everybody. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was cool, man. So Sounds like a good time. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, for the first time, good. I couldn't imagine doing it in the summer because you have to wear, like, long sleeves and long pants. Yeah. So, like, it was only 70 that day, and my clothes were soaked. So, like, if it was 100 degrees outside, oh, you, would, you would just be yeah. dying. Um, yeah. Like, it was – and the mass kept fogging up. And, like, so it was – it was – and that's when it's 70 degrees. So, if it's 100, mm. you would – I mean, granted, the sweat would be evaporating because it was kind of humid that day. Mm. But, uh-uh. Nah, man. Spring and fall only. I, I got so, you. I got you. Or indoors. Indoor paintball would be fun. Yeah, that but would be cool. You could definitely build a course. That's the business we usually well, get Well, the, the outdoor ones are fun because it's like it's like legit ass houses. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. shells of houses with windows and stuff, and they have like cars and like they had a fucking airplane and a helicopter like out there you could like run around in. Oh, it was cool. it was that's wild. Cool. And then they had like the pro one, which are like the blow up like the blow up like Doritos and the tubes and stuff. So they yeah. had they had everything. But sounds like a good time. Yeah, it was all right. So anywho, uh, that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.